What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's going to be a jazzy one. I didn't plan any vlogs or anything. I, uh, which is not new for y'all. Me not planning the YouTube content? What? Ella didn't prepare? Oh my gosh, that's a first. <laughs> I, I love our rant videos and chatting and all that, but YouTube just hasn't been the most beneficial for me. So it hasn't been like top priority for me to be like, I got to think of all this creative stuff to do for my YouTube channel for my, you know, I don't, I don't get a lot of traction on here. So not that I'm complaining about y'all who watch me. I really hope y'all don't ever feel like that when I'm, when I say stuff like that, it's just like the reality of, I have to put my attention to things that are important. And I've spent way too much of my time on things that are not important. I had somebody ask me today, we're about to light this, don't worry. I had somebody ask me like, oh, why don't you do those Instagram lives with your friends anymore? You know, or you're like dancing and hanging out. And I would spend hours, and I mean hours, every single day, live streaming on Instagram to get a following. And I got to almost 200K on two separate accounts. My first one got deleted, so then I did it again. And... What did that get me? It got me a following on Instagram. <laughs> That's all it did. And that following doesn't really do much for me now. So, so of course, most of y'all know my main focus has been my hair product, doing live streams, trying to figure out how to get more sales. And it's been a, oh, I do have good news for you guys too about that, but it's definitely a frustrating journey. <laughs> having your own business and like I'm definitely putting in too much time on things that aren't important but it's hard and you don't know what the important things are but doing my research and like watching all these shows about small businesses and checking out these businesses profiles after hearing how much money they make and they will literally have no social media presence I'm always just baffled and I'm just like how I am clearly missing something. So we're, we're figuring that out. This next chapter for us is about to be a really big step, I feel like. Um, we're going to be on a TV show, which is really amazing. Uh, so I can't talk about like details right now, like what show or what um, network it's going to be on and all that. But we're going to be getting a whole episode dedicated to us my fiance and I and our business and talking about our product and our journey. And we're about to be on a really big podcast and magazine articles and news articles. So we're about to get really good exposure for Botanical and for Oomph that I'm really excited about. And I can't wait. I can't wait. And I think that these people are also teaching us stuff about business as well. And so I think I'm going to learn a lot and really be able to talk to someone who's successful in business and be like, what the heck am I doing wrong? Because I'm grateful. I'm so grateful for the progress we've made. I know that we've started with no traction, no views on that page and, you know, barely getting any sales every day, which the sales are always just up and down. Like today, I only got one sale. Today I got one sale and I'm grateful. I don't want to say I only got because of course I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for all the positive and success that is happening with Oomph. Um, it could just be frustrating. It could be frustrating when you see somebody with a, a, barely a fraction of your following or engagement or views making quadruple <laughs> what you make in sales and it's not just one person I'm comparing myself to y'all it is majority of these businesses especially on this tv show that I watched that have no social media presence like they they post they'll post a little bit and they'll post you know not every day all the time like I do they're not live streaming all the time like I do so how the heck are they making all this money? <laughs> it's just been a frustration of, of mine and my fiance's, but we'll definitely be keeping you guys updated. And I can't wait to record the journey of us doing this TV show and everything. It's just going to be really great. So 
I see nothing but good things coming, but again, some, you know, I still get stuck in my head and still will focus on negatives sometimes when I shouldn't. We should never focus on the negatives, especially if we can't control it. <sighs> Gosh, like I can't control that TikTok is only giving me like 60 views on a video or whatever, right? I can't control that. I can't control that I'll get 7,000 people in my live streams and get zero sales. Or maybe I can control it. I don't know. Should we get jazzy? Y'all are like, this is not what we want to do. <laughs> Most people just want to do the jazz, <laughs> which I get it. All this talk and business stuff can be blah sometimes and I know I talk about it a lot with you guys, but those of y'all who watch are real ones and y'all are truly nice supporters because I know I'm not consistent on this platform and I know these videos are a mess. So I just, I really appreciate you guys. So let's get jazzy. I don't want to think, I don't want to think too hard anymore. I think, I think a lot of my setbacks is because I'm too much in my head. I, I overthink every single thing and I need to stop I need to just start going with the flow you know I get really bad at that especially if my flow gets thrown off I'm really bad at just trying to stick with the flow and stay positive and like oh, oh this is where the flow is taking me all right all right <laughs> I don't know cheers jazzy cheers Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. Got our neighbor's dog barking like always. <laughs> What's new? These videos are a little harder for me to <coughs> edit and film. <coughs> so sorry. Because, you know, I can't show me <coughs> enjoying the jazz cabbage wrap. And it's hard when the jazz cabbage wrap is constantly in my hand. But I think it's when I'm actually, is when the YouTube gets mad. Who knows? They might get mad at this video just because of what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so, no thinking. Well, what else can I talk about that's not business related? Because <laughs> I'm tired of boring, y'all. The, the exciting stuff that's happening is exciting, and I'm, I'm super excited about it. And can't wait to talk more about it with you guys, too. But, yeah, it's hard. Like, oomph is, has just been the only thing on my brain. I got oomph on the brain. Can't get it off the brain. <laughs> it's been such a strange day, and this day flew by. I'm recording this on Tuesday. Tuesday, October 29th. I have my new Echo Spot next to me. Shout out Laviani for getting me this off my wish list. I am going to be... I do have Mini Me's wish list posted too for you guys if you guys ever want to get her a gift. And I know Christmas is coming up, so I'm going to be adding some more stuff for her for gifts. Because Christmas, I don't, I honestly have no idea what our budget's going to be like. I currently can't buy Christmas gifts for anybody. And I can't think about it. I can't think about it. I really thought this, this year was going to be a little different and a little better when it came to to being able to do the shopping and stuff. But it's a lot of money that you have to put back into a business. It's like we make, you know, we're making great traction so far uh, with sales, but all that money goes right back into us doing more for the business and getting more product and... Yada, yada, yada. 
I'm like my fiance wants to label more bottles tonight and I'm like I haven't even sold out of these ones yet and it's taking me longer than I anticipated so I'm just really trying not to be down on myself about it and just like keep reminding myself I've done so much already it just doesn't feel like it just doesn't feel like man I'm sorry for this boring video I don't know. I don't really know what else to talk about. I keep saying that too, and then I'll think of something. Someone told me, <coughs> someone told me in my comments, they were like, if you can't think of topics, you should just watch Just Trish's podcast for topics they talk about, <laughs> which is cute. I thought that was a cute idea, but I don't normally watch her podcast, but I'm pretty sure she mostly talks about pop culture stuff and and like pop culture news. I don't care about any of that stuff. I never know what's going on with celebrities or influencers. And maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe I'm not relevant and I should be more hip. But it's just stuff I don't care about. I don't care about what so-and-so is doing. Um, I care about, you know, if I'm, if I'm watching stuff, I like to watch funny stuff and educational stuff and just celebrity gossip has never really attracted me i guess yeah like i like re reality shows sometimes like i used to like watching the kardashians i don't know um but again i'm never like on my phone like trying to keep keep up with the times just no interest I love giving out positive vibes and keeping up with people in my life, which is even hard enough to do. So I don't know why I would try to keep up with people I don't know in real life, you know, <laughs> as y'all are watching me. God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> of course, I want y'all to when I keep up with me. So, and again, I guess I do have some influencers like Reagan. Reagan's probably the only influencer where I watch her stuff every day even that like even her like I'll watch her stuff but there's people who follow her like the accounts that talk trash about her and cause drama and like all that stuff I don't I don't ever try to like research into that stuff or pay no mind to it you know gossip 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 Cause gossip's usually just nasty and not true you know kids can't trust anything online now I feel like my brain keeps wanting. I don't ever cough this bad until I'm recording for you guys. Is it because I'm trying to talk and jazz at the same time? What's happening to me? Anyways, I feel like my brain's just been a little, like, keeps trying to be. I feel like my brain just keeps trying to be negative, and I sometimes can't stop this cycle, which I guess would be a good time for me to. I have people asking me how to go from a negative mindset to a positive mindset because I used to be very, very negative, like very depressed, very high anxiety, panic attacks, all that. Way better now, but I still catch myself like trying to be on that negative cycle and focus on negative things or talk about negative things or like turn things negative, you know? I don't, I can't think of what made me just think of this, but. I just want to be all bubbly and happy all the time and just like energize love so you guys can just feel love and positive energy instead of me complaining. I think that's like when I complain, it feels very negative because it is. And like even when I was explaining that celebrity thing, I don't know why it sounded negative because there's no... I feel like how I said it would put people down who do like to care about celebrities and watch them and watch, you know, keep up with all the details about other influencers. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Everybody's different. Everybody enjoys different things. So I just gotta be better at how I say things sometimes. I, I don't know if y'all get where my brain's going, but. <sighs> Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it again and again till I get it right.
I don't know if those were the words, but. My thing went out. What are we doing? What is life, man? <laughs> the jazz topics come out. What is life? <laughs> For real though, it's like, what are we doing? None of us knows, we're all guessing. That's, that's the crazy part. All of us are guessing, nobody actually knows what we're doing. <laughs> If we're doing the right things, wrong things, just do the things, do the things that make you happy, that bring you happiness and spread love. Even if you're not feeling love, <coughs> keep spreading it. I think that's something that I really, really, really want to work on recently for me. Live streams have been really draining, like really energy draining for me. And I think I'm really... Like, not that I'm believing what negative people say, because I know there's not going to, I can't, I know not everybody on this earth is going to love me. And there's so many people online who are not going to like me. And I have to, I, I'm okay with that. But I still let their like negativity kind of affect my vibe, you know, like I feel like I read it and I ignore it majority of the time I don't reply because it's feeding into it but I think it's still just somehow affecting me little by little you know and sometimes it'll be a bunch at once you know and sometimes they're spread out and I don't know I really want to not let live streaming drain me like it has been lately like it's really been draining me and I used to I y'all majority of y'all know I, I could stream for hours and hours and hours on Twitch on TikTok on Instagram and I never let it drain me like how these lives with my botanical my oomph lives I'll do like an hour like I did example an hour today I didn't get any sales <coughs> so maybe that is also throwing me off too but sometimes that one hour is so much for me like I don't get why I really need to figure this out because I want to be able to push like how come all these other times I could sit on lives for hours and hours and hours just gaining following or just chilling with my booze chatting jazzing whatever not promoting my business which is the most important thing for me now currently top of the list you know and I can't even do an hour, two hours without feeling drained? Why? Why? Is it because it's like, because it's such a big deal? Like it means so much to me and I think I feel like I'm putting so much pressure on it maybe to get the sales that maybe that's why it's draining. We gotta figure this out, y'all. Yeah. We're gonna figure it out because I would love to be able to just like, just be so pumped and like, yeah, I'm getting on live and I'm gonna be live for so long. Like tonight, my fiance wants to me to go live while he labels bottles. And I immediately was like, I don't wanna do that. I was already live for two hours today. It's so draining, like I can't. Why? <laughs> Why is that my reaction? Why can't I just be like pumped and be like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna be on live and we can just keep giving good vibes and not put expectations on it. And then if we get sales, amazing. If we don't, still amazing because we're still letting people know about us and still chatting with our people who already like us and use our product and all that, all that jazz, you know? Get out of my uh, your head, Ella. Is my battery about to die? Oh, we've got like 18%, which don't worry too. I still have my, I think, three other batteries. Plus, so then the one that's in y'all, so four total. Uh, so we're chilling for the batteries, battery-wise. But, I mean, we only have this much left. And I should be making TikToks <laughs> for 
oomph. Because I was going to make one. I had one an idea. So I need to make sure I do that. Still. But we could finish this jazz cabbage together. Especially before this battery dies. Because then we'll be golden. Maybe I'll come back tonight too and, and do more jazz with y'all. Right before I edit. I like to do that. Because I get, like to get jazzy anyways right before I edit. So I'm like, I might as well do it with y'all. And then that way I can up, upload it and have it ready for tomorrow. I'm really sorry that I'm so stinking. I like starting this video being like, ah, YouTube just, y'all suck. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. Um, y'all don't suck. I'm grateful for every view that I get, every comment, every silent watcher. I'm grateful. I need to just keep showing y'all gratitude instead of being stinking. <sighs> Again, nobody's perfect, right? Especially me. <laughs> None of us. Oh boy. <laughs> I love y'all. It's been fun to be more of myself when I'm like, in, when I'm in such a great mood, I'm definitely, of course, just so open to be silly and goofy and, and, and myself on live. And where was I going with this? I just, I love that it makes people happy. I don't really know where I was going with it, but... <laughs> I love that me being myself can make people happy <clears throat> and I'll get those comments like, why are you girl? Why are you acting like that? <laughs> I'm like, acting silly? Minnie does that to me. She'll be like, and I'm just acting like my goofy self. <laughs> just pay no mind and keep being you keep because there's people who are absolutely loving it and Really got to keep reminding myself that. I'm glad we had this chat. <laughs> Look at us go. Just got to talk it out. <laughs> Cheers. Light this bad boy. Cheers. And it's nice. I don't have to like wait till five or you know, <laughs> not record me getting jazzy until five. <laughs> y'all already know. I keep it real with y'all. We'd be breaking our rule. And I have to make a video about that on Instagram too. Because I loved cutting back on the jazz. And I still didn't get jazzy all day. And I But I love that I could be able to come home. And this is me filming with y'all, which is being productive and I could include jazz and not feel guilty. It's not five, <laughs> but the discipline was needed to happen for me to do the decrease. So oh, I need to make an Instagram video about that because people want to know. I should have probably done that right now, but we're doing a YouTube video. YouTube, YouTube, y'all. <coughs> y'all are cool. Um, 4% need the glass. 14 we're Gucci these are these are the good batteries now they don't they don't drain so quickly like my other one did the other one the other one that I had <laughs> would be so fast this conversation is all over the place I'm so grateful though grateful we had it because I think I truly need to just stop putting the pressure and keep being more myself because I think on live too, I, I would do, I do my spiels, right? Like I'm always like trying to talk about my product when I'm on my brand page. And sometimes when I'm just doing that and I'm not really including much of myself, you know, like bringing up some other little things now and then, like, I'll, I'll, I think the mood, they could tell that I'm just, I'm just doing the, the movements, you know, and not really actually having any vibe with those movements. What am I saying? <laughs> I hope, I mean, obviously y'all don't have to. I hope 
y'all are enjoying this chat and it feels like we're just FaceTiming and I'm getting jazzy and maybe you are too or you're not but you're you're vibing well while I am <laughs> right cheers <laughs> cheers if you are and cheers if you're not Express more gratitude. Just gonna start getting to me because just getting low. Getting low. Those really hit. Yeah, gotta keep showing gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Love, love, love. Positive vibes. So grateful. If I get one view on this video, right? Because one person might have heard something I said and changed their mindset. Grateful, grateful, grateful. So grateful. I need to, <coughs> I need to start adding gratitude into my routine. I need to think of how, because I don't like doing just like, like you know, three things I'm grateful for because I always just think of like, Minnie, my man, and my my cats. <laughs> you know, it's like, of course I'm grateful for more things. So many more things, but I'm always like, oh, I got to pick top three. Like, it's like, <laughs> always. But I don't know. Maybe there's like a book on gratitude or something. I would love to read it because to be honest with y'all, I haven't read my Atomic Habits since I've stopped the challenge or my fiction book, to be honest, either. So I need to implement reading into my routine. Also gratitude, for sure. Definitely, and like in the mornings too, because I do it during yoga, so I don't, I mean, it's obviously just not enough. I think that'll really help. I'm glad we went through this roller coaster of emotions together. I'm very jazzy now. <laughs> um, this has been so much fun. So much fun. It's now 4.11 for me. I'm very jazzing. <clears throat> but I think that I'm going to make a tiki talk because, yeah, I need to. I, I want to for botanical and when I'm jazzing sometimes the videos come out great so <laughs> sometimes not that's just how the wind blows <laughs> yeah <laughs> grateful, grateful, grateful. So grateful for so many things. And it's almost Halloween. Ah, next time I see y'all, Halloween will happen. I'm so excited. I can't tell y'all what I'm going to be because this is going to be posted the day before Halloween. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tell y'all. You know why I'm going to tell y'all? Because y'all are real ones watching these YouTube videos. Especially if you're this far. Especially. Cause, and, and most people are probably watching this after Halloween too, to be fair. But, yeah. I'm gonna tell y'all. Cause, how rude if I don't. Cause obviously who knows what I'm gonna film for the next video if I, if I tell you guys. Alright. The suspense, huh? Y'all, y'all suspensed? <laughs> Yay, fun. Okay, I haven't been telling anybody. But Minnie wanted to be Dorothy this year. And so I was like, okay, Dorothy, like, what are we going to do? And normally, we're, one, always last minute with our costumes, which is ridiculous because Halloween's my favorite holiday, and I'm always last minute for it. But to be fair, usually income-wise, it's always just, you know, hustling, hustling, paycheck to paycheck, can't get cool, crazy decorations for my house like I would love to, manifesting that one day. And, uh, where was I going with that? Oh. 
So, <laughs> God. Oh, yeah, we were last minute with our costumes. Gosh, the suspense. Y'all are going to be like, fucking lame ass costume. I waited for that. No. <laughs> okay, so Minnie's Dorothy. I'm going to be Toto. If you don't know, Wizard of Oz. Toto's Dorothy's dog. But with a twist, I'm not being a dog. <laughs> I'm going to be a deer, which is very popular this year, <laughs> of course. But I'm also going to be carrying around a severed foot because I'm Toto. And then <laughs> my man is going as Tin Man, but he's just going to wear a vest and put um, soda cans inside. So he'll be the Tin Man. And yeah, so I'm excited for Halloween trick-or-treating, the good times. I don't remember why I was bringing up Halloween. I think I just thought of it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all are real ones for watching this long for sure. Uh, I feel so good. Okay, let's let's go be productive now. Like we said, we were going to, cause I could talk to y'all forever. But we'll have another check in. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm sure we will. Before I edit, you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Hello, I'm back with a full battery baby. It's only been, I think like an hour <laughs> since I left y'all, but uh, uh, let's get jazzy baby. I got this handy dandy lunch box, which I didn't get to tell y'all about either. Uh, a jazz event, went to a Halloween jazz event this past weekend. On Saturday with my fiance. It was so much fun. So much fun. I got to see some cool people and get some free jazz and it was just, it was a blast. And it was nice to get out with my man. We don't do that often. And we were home by 9 p.m. So <laughs> it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So I am back early because I really want to start editing my video and my fiance is on his way home and I, when he's home, I'd rather enjoy time with him. But I just realized he has to do walking on the treadmill, which I guess I could have edited during that, but either way I should just start because it really doesn't take me too long. It's kind of like the uploading progress. That's the longest, especially with these videos, like I only cut out just y'all know the jazzy I, when i hit a jazzy note for regulations what am i doing i should begin jazzy with y'all <sighs> why this bad boy up while we keep talking yeah so i'm still feeling really good and positive i made a video for my botanical page that I wasn't planning on making until after our chat and I was like I should let them know cheers that I've been feeling off and that, that if they've noticed me feeling off during the live streams like explaining basically what we, we talked about going through the motions and how we forget to actually enjoy <laughs> going through the motions and enjoy life and enjoy that I get to talk to so many people every day and spread positivity and, and love and all that good stuff. So I'm really glad I made that video and came to that realization with you guys. <laughs> so that's, that's even the only benefit I get out of making these YouTube videos. I have to ramble to myself to come to some realizations. Then heck yeah, it's a win, win, win all around. Gratitude. Gratitude. We still have to think of like a gratitude exercise or something. If you guys have any, drop them in the comments, of course. But just gotta not only 
do gratitude exercises, let's say in the morning, but just remembering throughout the day as well. Because again, we just get stuck doing these motions and we're like just stressing about life instead of enjoying it. <laughs> Let's just enjoy it a little. It needs to be enjoyable. My shoulder, it's so bad, y'all. I'm hoping this jazz helps as I die coughing. Oh my gosh. Oh, apologies too if the sound on this video is a little wonky. <laughs> I appreciate y'all telling me like the little the little things. Some I think someone it took someone being like, you whisper your whole video and then you laugh so loud and then I'm like, Oh, I gotta work on the volume control and learn how to speak louder or, you know, because I have to, when I turn it up, then when I laugh or cough or other stuff, we'll be like, Boo! and I'm like, oh gosh, I'm blowing y'all's ears out. <laughs> gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Positivity and love. Everybody's human. I feel like, I don't know how many times I've had to have, like, these moments with myself where I'm like, get your shit together. <laughs> you know better than this to act like this. But it's normal. We're people. We're human. We're people. We're people. And my many thinks I'm cringe all the time, but <laughs> it doesn't stop me from being cringe mom. So get ready for more. <laughs> Me, I guess. <laughs> Y'all always got me, but you know what I mean. I love being goofy with you guys. Some people don't laugh, but that's just on them. <laughs> Not everybody could understand your your sense of humor, and that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. This has already been a ramble video. Oh, check out my, one of my friends. This is a nice little story. One of my friends, Red, she says she thought of me when she saw this hoodie. And then there's another, she got me a ghost blanket too. It's downstairs, but so sweet. And I was just like, so grateful that I was, you see someone sees something and thinks of me and gives me a gift and I'm just like, I want to do that more for people, you know, like little things that show gratitude and that you love and care for people because it was so nice. I was not expecting it and I was just like, this is the sweetest thing ever and this is so cozy and it's perfect timing because it's starting to get chilly, no more 90 degrees. It's getting colder out. Colder for Arizona, y'all, so <laughs> I got my comfy clothes ready. Love it. Love it. Love spooky time. I can't believe it's already almost over. And then it, I just love holiday time. I really want to try to not stress about, you know, buying people gifts, but sh just showing more people that I'm grateful for them, you know, because... Most people will just appreciate that you show them love and that you care and a little thought. So, yeah. <laughs> gonna, we're gonna be good, you guys. We're gonna do good. We're gonna grow together. I can't wait to keep growing together. And uh, apologies again that I. I feel like I treat y'all like the middle child. <laughs> Is that how it goes? I don't know. I only grew up with one sibling, but I feel like the middle child always gets picked on. <laughs> so apologies that I don't show gratitude enough to you guys. I'm super grateful for those of you who watch my videos on here. I really get to see inside this chaotic brain of mine, that's for sure. This month looked cool.
<laughs> Getting close to being done. About to be so jazzy when my babe gets home. I'm excited. I'm really glad that I'm in a good mood too for him when he gets home so that way he can like decompress after a long day and not feel like he has to be uplifting me and because after my stream earlier y'all I was emotional so I'm glad that he wasn't here because of course he it's not like he hates having to deal with that like he's so loving and supportive I just know it could be draining dealing with a negative mindset even though you know I didn't know better at the time like I'm learning it could be draining being with someone who's like not all in it to win it when you are. So I'm glad that I could come to this realization before he's home. Cause I like being my best version of myself with the people I love, you know, and y'all, I love y'all so much, but you guys, you guys see everything. So, <laughs> uh, they see everything too though. So, <laughs> Gosh, uh, why do I gotta be such a emotional mess sometimes? That's the triple water sign, man. Pisces, Pisces, Cancer. If you know, you know. Uh, I was doomed from the start. <laughs> so enjoy the rest of your week, cause y'all are about to watch this on Hump Day. And, uh, or whenever you watch this, enjoy your time and try not to take life so seriously. Because, like, life is serious, but we have to enjoy it. Because what is, what is the point of stressing about the end goal if you can't enjoy the, the ride? Because the ride is life. Oh, we, we all got one. And I don't want to just en enjoy the last little fraction of it once I'm, like, you know, everything came true. I got to grow my family and go live on an island together with my entire family and friends. And <laughs> we're all real old now with all of our kids. And, <laughs> and uh, now I can relax. Like, what, what does that look like? Relaxing and actually enjoying life and getting to your end goal. I don't think there ever is an end goal. End goal is... <laughs> You know, <laughs> I want to be happy and enjoy all of it. All the moments life gives. So y'all got to also. Please be kind to yourself. I have like one last little cheers with this thing. Comment below if you're still watching one of your favorite tv shows just one of them i know it's hard to pick one you could put multiple if you want yeah for me i'll say friends i got hugsy right behind me if you know you know if you've never seen friends give it a try and then i could keep going and keep naming more shows <laughs> so i'll leave it at that i love you guys so much Last cheers. Cheers to being amazing and being ourselves. I love y'all so much. So much. So grateful. <laughs>